Hallelujah. Our salvation. Let us pray. Jehovah God, we are grateful to you for bringing us to your house this morning. Thank you, Father, for the wonders that you have planned for our lives. And one of those wonders is to save us and make us your own. It is my prayer today, Lord. As many people that are far from your kingdom, you draw them closer by the instrumentality of your word in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare, Lord, we are yours. And I decree that you are the Lord over every life here, O Lord. Rule and reign. Save souls. Restore the backsliding. And establish us in faith. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. And amen. Please take your seat. Today we are considering a word that is so common among believers, but many times we fail to truly work it out in our life or acknowledge it. On the hour of salvation this morning, we'll be looking at eternal life. Eternal life. How many of us have heard that word before? Wave at me. Oh, that's good. Eternal life. And we're look, considering First John chapter 5. We'll be looking at some scriptures. But basically, I'm checking out my time. Okay. I know every one of us will know that Jesus Christ came from heaven and he came to this earth on a mission. He came to give us something special and that is eternal life. He came to bring us a wonderful gift of eternal life. And 1 John chapter 5, I read from verse 9 to 13. The Bible says, if we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his son. He that believeth on the son of God, hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God, hath made him a liar. Because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. He that hath the son hath life. And he that hath not the son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Shout hallelujah. That is First John chapter 5 from verse 9 to 13. It is important for us to understand what eternal life means. And from this passage, the Bible says it is God that gives eternal life to us. And he gives us eternal life through his son. What is eternal life? Because it is critical for us to understand what it means. More so, Verse 12 says, he that has son, the son at life. And we are all living. We are living souls that are present here. So I know you have life. But I'm not talking about ordinary life. Because there is a difference between human life and eternal life. There is a difference between the physical life and eternal life. Every one of us that we, you know, we are here now. It is because you have life. That's why you are here. Those that does not have life. I mean the human life. 
They are on that, either six feet below or in the mortuary. But you are not there because that is not your portion. Shout amen to that. Amen. But here the Bible is saying, if you don't have the Son of God, you don't have life. What is the life that the Bible is talking about here? The Bible is referring to eternal life. Eternal life. Eternal, it is uh, only in God that we have eternal life. Okay, let me come to this. Every one of us, after our journey here, we are going to enter into a life. Every, or, or, let me put this this way. We will not, beyond this world, we will still be in a life. But what you do with your life now will determine the kind of life you will have then. So there are two kinds of life. We have eternal life and we have life of damnation. Life of damnation will not be your portion in Jesus' name. How do I know? In John chapter 6, the gospel according to John chapter 6, Jesus Christ was speaking here. Let me first of all read chapter 3. You are coming to that. John chapter 3. John was giving a record about Jesus. And in verse 36 he said, He that believeth on the Son at everlasting life. So eternal life is everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. That is, shall not see eternal life. Shall not have everlasting life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. That life, will st- that person will still be living in the other world, but in damnation, under the wrath of God. Are you hearing me? So what is eternal life? Eternal life means God's life. It means divine life. It is different from human life. And the quality of eternal life is stronger than the quality of human life. In human life, your body can be sick and then you get restored. But eternal life, no sickness. Because it is more than existence. Every one of us is because we are existing. That's why we are here. Eternal life is more than existence. It is more than even eternal existence. Because either you do good or you do bad. Beyond this life, you will still be alive. Are you hearing me? Some will be in pain and some will be in joy. But I'm talking about eternal life that you can begin to enjoy here. It is the sharing of God's life. Partaking in the divine nature of God from here to eternity. And the Bible says, in that first John where I read the other time, verse 11, this is the record. This is what the Lord has laid down. That God has given to us. God has given to us eternal life. But that gift is in his son. So it's only those that receive his son as their savior that have access to eternal life. So what is eternal life? I'll tell you again. It is talking, it is referring to a personal heart to heart relationship that a Christian, not just a church goer, not a religious person, a Christian is expected to have with Jesus. There is a relationship that God wants us to have with Jesus Christ. That relationship is referred to as eternal life. It is beyond that I am alive today. It is having a heart-to-heart relationship, a personal relationship with Jesus Christ himself, who is life. I will get there soon. So, eternal life is a present possession 
that you have today, that I have, if you are born again. But those that are not born again, the Bible says they don't have, the, it even said, he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. That is, shall not see eternal life. But you discover that sinners are still alive here. But they don't have that part of God, that divine life. Because they don't have relationship with him. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4 says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Is in your Bible like that? Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4. That ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. There is corruption in this world. And as long as you are far away from Jesus as your savior, you will be a partaker of that corruption. But there is a gift from God. A gift of eternal life that God has placed in his son. When you receive Jesus as your savior, you have access to that life. You have access to eternal life. It becomes a gift of God to you. So, from now on, even from the present, we begin to enjoy eternal life. That's First John chapter 5 that I read at, at the beginning. Verse 11 says, this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. So take note. Eternal life is a present possession. It is a present possession. John chapter 5, verse 24. The Bible, Jesus Christ was speaking here. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, He that heareth my word, the word has been coming to us at different uh, times. And more will still be coming. He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me. Who sent Jesus here? God Almighty. He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me at what? Everlasting life. And shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death unto life. Is passed on from death unto life. So eternal life is a thing that we begin to enjoy here according to that first Peter chapter 5 verse 14. I mean chapter 1 verse 4. Then according to the word of God here that I've just read, it is our present possession. Another thing I want you to take note of is that eternal life is a free gift. Eternal life is a free gift. It is God that gives freely. In that verse 11 that I read, it is clear there that God has given to us eternal life. So if it is given, we are not the one that are, is working to have it. But it is a free gift of God. Tell your neighbor eternal life is a free gift from God. Eternal life is a free gift of God. When God gave us Jesus, our Lord Jesus, at the incarnation, when he came to this world, through the Virgin Mary, God gave us eternal life in him. So when you believe in Jesus, when you receive him as your savior, you have eternal life. Eternal life cannot be paid for. I don't have the money for eternal life. You can't afford the price for eternal life. Because that eternal life cost Jesus himself his own life. And because Jesus Christ died to give us eternal life, I don't need to die. You don't need to die to have it. We can't work for it. No one can earn it. There is nothing you can do to merit it. It is a free gift. John chapter 10, verse 27 and 28 says, My sheep hear my voice. 
and I know them. And they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. What a word. This is Jesus himself speaking. He said, my sheep, they hear my voice. It is only those that have accepted Jesus as their savior that qualify to be in his sheepfold. They are his sheep. And his sheep, they hear his voice. Many times Jesus speaks. I want to ask you, do you hear his voice? Do you follow his voice? And he also say, you can say, yes, I do. But he said, I know them. So it, does, it means that it's not everyone that congregate together and say I'm a child of God. That me be children of God. God identifies, I mean Jesus himself identifies with his own sheep. Are you in his sheepfold? Do you belong to him? He said those people that know me, what do they do? They follow me. Let me read the word of God. This same scripture to you in New Living Translation. He said, my sheep recognize my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life because they are my sheep. They come to me, they hear my voice and they recognize my voice and they always follow me. And as a matter of truth, I know them. I know the sheep among church members, I know those that are not in my fold. But my question is, are you his sheep? Does he know you? Are you following him? He said, I give them eternal life. And I love this. He said, they will never perish. No one will snatch them away from me. No one will snatch them away from me. Why? Because they have come to me. They have identified with me. They have received my gifts. And I know them. And they know me. They recognize my voice when I speak to them. And they follow. So these precious gifts, what are you to do with them? What is the gift I'm talking about? The gift of eternal life. Is that you refuse it, you reject it, or you receive it. You either reject it, or you receive it. And many people, by our attitude, by our actions, by our words, will reject eternal life many times. Remember I said, you can't qualify for it by your own works or by your own merit. There's nothing you can do to merit it. But God gives us as a free gift. But this gift some reject it. Some receive it. Which category are you? Which category are you? John chapter 3 verse 16. How many people know what is there? Wave at me if you know what is in John chapter 3 verse 16. Now recite it. Let me hear you. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. So those that reject it, what will they have? They will perish. Those that receive him, what will they have? Eternal life. Have you received Jesus? Take note of this. I'm rounding up here. Eternal life is in Jesus Christ alone. I've told you, it is a gift from the Father. And the Father gives it to us through Jesus Christ. Eternal life is in Jesus. How do I know? The Bible made us to know that Jesus himself is life. He said it. He said, I am the way, the truth, and what? And the life. Jesus is the life. And the, he is the source of life. 
The Bible even refers to him as the prince of life. So eternal life is not in religion. Eternal life is not in church attendance. Eternal life is not in church ordinance. Now, okay, there is a creed we read in our church. And that has given me eternal life. Now, you say I believe in eternal life. Doesn't make it automatic in your life. Eternal life is not in some great religious uh, gurus. I mean, religious leaders. Eternal life is not in, in an angel from heaven. It is in one person. And that person is Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus himself is the reciprocal tree of, uh, of eternal life. He is the, is the personality that represents eternal life. When you have him, you have life. Let's go to First John as I want to pray now. First John chapter 5. I want you to check, do I have eternal life? You can only answer that question if you have Jesus. If you are still far from Jesus, then you don't have eternal life. But if you have Jesus Christ, you have eternal life. The Bible says, He that believeth on the Son of God, at the witness in himself. There is a witness in you. If you are honest with yourself, that witness with you whether you have the Son of God in your life or not. If it is still easy for you to commit sin, to cover up, to do things that God hates, then you don't belong to that kingdom. You need to accept Jesus as your Savior today so that you have access to eternal life. I mean, having, being a partaker of that life, yet yeah, divine life here on earth, and then by the time you finish your journey here, you will be in his kingdom. But those people that are alive today, that reject this free gift, they too, they will go to a kingdom. Are you hearing me? That's what the Bible calls second death. Not that they will die there. In many thousands of years, they will be in pain eternally. The Bible says the wrath of God is upon them here or not. If you don't want the wrath of God to be on you here, then you need to be a partaker of this divine life that God has freely given to us. You need to stop the way you live that is annoying to God. You need to stop what you do, what you say that is against the will of God. And then turn to God through Jesus Christ and receive a part of this God into your life. So you will be living a part, a part of you. Are you hearing me? Part of you will become a divine life. Oh, how, do I, how, how do I say it this way? Holy Spirit, help me. If Peter said we are partakers of his divine life, it means it starts from here. So that you will have the life of God in you from here. It is only those that have the life of God here that will enter into eternal rest, which is eternal life beyond this life. I want you to bow your heads. Huh. I want you to ask yourself, do I have eternal life? If Jesus should appear before you now, can you truly say to him, Jesus, I belong to you. You know it. Ele yi koja kwe akon wasi church yo. Che yi olonu, olonu funra yi gosho mbe inu e bae. Olonu so wikwe ya uji alaba kwe yi yi. To wani nu o un. Si abag ba jesu ni olu balawa. Ujuju mo lo ufe nu so wikwe jesu ni olu wa. Shubwe yi gya yi e tako. Igbaye Jesu, ofeko yare wo. 
ku de julu to si are so fun olorun oluwa mo to wa lone iya ni pekun ni mo fe emi o fe iya ni pekun leyin aye yi iya ni pekun wa iya ni pekun wa iya ni pekun ni mo fe o i want eternal life i want eternal life O Lord, save my soul. <laughs> That's one of the lyrics of the songs that uh, our children sing in their, in their Sunday school classes. Eternal life. I want to have eternal life, Lord. Save my soul. Eternal, eternal life. Eternal, eternal life. I want to have eternal life. Lord, save my soul. I want to have eternal life. Lord, save my soul. I want you to confess your sins to God. I want to confess your sins to God. I to confess your sins to God. I want to confess your sins to God. I you can't have the life of God in you and be living against His will. Mention them to God. If you truly want to belong to His family today, to be part of His sheep, in His sheepfold, I want you to raise your hand. All eyes close. Earth bow. Mufek by Jesus knew Luba Lamelone. Give me no lini ya in a quaku. If you fell way ya in a quaku, no way so came of a bad rap. Mufek Jawan Nugu Gueshi. I see I want one team when she told more long on Binu. No way so kid, Dada. Voku Bressing Jaway Shef more long. Lua Dare Shemi Jimmy. It is important that you identify yourself with God. That is when He will take possession of your life. The Bible says, He that had the Son had life. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins. If you are doing that, I want you to stand up and say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I confess my sins. That you have said the prayer sometimes ago and you fall back into sin. <laughs> you need to redress some things. Though. You that you are standing, I want you to say this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for giving me the free gift of eternal life. Through your son, Jesus Christ, I confess that I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life. I receive eternal life from you today. I reject eternal damnation in the name of Jesus Christ. I will live to make you happy in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's rise up. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I want you to pray that your body, your soul, and your spirit will manifest eternal life from this moment onward. Because you have eternal life, your body is not subject to sickness and diseases again. Oh Lord, let the power of love take over my body, my soul, and my spirit. Everything that is dead in my life, come back to life in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Jesus, you are life. You are the source of life. You are the source of eternal life. I come to you today. Take over my life. Let there be a divine takeover of my life. That my body, 
body, my soul, and my spirit will manifest eternal life as from today. Everything dead in my body, dead cells, come back to life. Come back to life. They come back to life. All dead tissues come back to life. Dead tissues come back to life. Come back to life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, dead organs, come back to life. Come back to life. Whatever is dead in my body, come back to life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the life of God take over my mortal body. Love of God, take over my soul. No room for negative thoughts. No room for negative attitude. Eternal life, take over my spirit. My spirit will be in alignment with God all the time. As from today. Oh, Makataya Debo said, Makataya, you the same God that raised the dry bones to become mighty hammy. Mokoteye di kasaka shede mokote ye di mose de katayama. De bo zede kete ye moti kasada yama kote ye de de dima. Moloye kasata ya life take over. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. Father I ask that your people will be kingdom people. That the word of salvation will be clear to everyone. That every soul, every member of Abana Grace Ministries International will thirst after righteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ. The hunger for godly living will take us over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Lord Jehovah, everything that is dead in our life, I call them forth. Come back to life in the name of Jesus Christ. Zika chapter 35, 37. I read in verse 4 and 5. That you said, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Don't say the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. O Father, I prophesy into the life of everyone under the sound of my voice. Let the breath of God come into you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, breathe on us in the name of Jesus. Cause your breath to enter into every soul here in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not die. You will live and declare the works of the Lord. You will not die. You will live and declare the works of the Lord. Everything dead in you, I call them forth. Come back to life. Come back to life. Gbogbo nto doku ninu aye mi ji. Hmm. ni mo pa se fun o. Egun gun gbigbe o dide o gbagbara otun. O gbogbo to doku ninu aye e. Aida it is a living thing or non living thing. <laughs> Mokota ka sende motuko sede ya makata yere bozida. Mele ye mokote ye me. Even those things that you have lost up over. Everything that you have considered dead. And all that has become dead. In your life. In your possession. In your properties. I decree love. Take over now in the name of Jesus. Come back to love in the name of Jesus. You same God that raised dry bones to become mighty army. You are here. I decree every dead cells. Come back to life. Dead tissues. Come back to life. Dead organs. Come back to life. Dead system. Come back to life. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. And give eternal life in the name of Jesus. The Bible says God has made us to be partakers of divine life. From today, you will enjoy divine life. In the name of Jesus, you will enjoy divine life in your spirit, in your soul, and in your bodies. In the name of Jesus. And I speak over this ministry. 
the motoko sede yema abundant grace ministries international enjoy eternal life in the name of jesus every department every segment every every, every one of us that makes us makes up abundant grace men women young old the bozida kata these two words the pastorate, the members, everyone, I decree, life, take over now. <laughs> divine life, take over now. And this ministry as an entity, let divine life take, his, take it over. <laughs> divine life, take abundant grace over. In the name of Jesus Christ. We will enjoy life without limitation. Unlimited life is your portion. Abundant life is your portion. Jesus came that we may have life. And he said that we might have it more abundantly. This word shall find fulfillment in your life. In your family. In your businesses. In your career. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your passion, your desire, your hunger, and your thirst will be after the Lord. As from today. It will not be easy for you to commit sin again. Sin. <laughs> I severe you from everything that makes you to fall and rise. You will live for God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give you praise for the soul that you saved today. I pray that you establish her in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now February 6, 2022 will be a day that she will never forget. It will be the beginning of a positive turnaround in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, eternal Savior. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.